Judgment Day is coming. Vengeance is a monster of appetite, forever bloodthirsty and never filled. I repeat. Vengeance is a monster of appetite, forever bloodthirsty and never filled. And is a quote by Rachel E. Goodrich. He goes on attack in his village. History will remember 2021. The year that the enemies of Biafra came into our land using our own people to kill a defender of his people. We are going to mourn Ikonso in a very special way. Very, very special. He was undefeatable. He drove the Fulani people away from Imo State. Did gallantly well. Ikonso is more than another. And we are going to mourn him in a very special way. We are going to be Ikonso in a very, very special way. That history will remember 2021. Therefore, we must fight this very fight. We lost the consul at the hands of cowards. Wretched, idiotic cowards who cannot fight a good fight. They did not engage him in the battlefield as they have been lying. Because in the battlefield, the consul is more than a million men. A man that is defending his land. A man that was defending our mama, our Idemili, from the ravages and excesses of Fulani terrorists and state-sponsored terrorism. On one hand, we are fighting Fulani terrorists and killers, and on the other hand, we are fighting governors who are hell-bent on killing us for fighting those that have come to kill us. Ikonso was not killed during any shootout or confrontation. Ikonso was killed in his village, in his kindred, in the middle of the night, not on the battlefield. Because on the battlefield, there is no way any detachment of any army or any police or any idiot can defeat him. These are men that fought for their land without receiving one dime in payment. Opo Zodemma and his former masters cowardly and wretchedly killed a man who was unarmed. His fight was against Fulani terrorism in our land. And they killed him because he refused an offer made to him by the same Opo Zodemma. He was the head of a volunteer army under oath to defend the land of Biafra. And these cowards, wretchedly and idiotically, in the middle of the night, as cowards always do, to sneak up on him. They said it's a combined team of police, army, and DSS. The Gonza will be buried in a very special way, I show you. Not even the burial of the Oba of Benin will be as remarkable as his own burial, I assure you, in the middle of the night, not on the battlefield. Because on the battlefield, there is no way any detachment of any army or any police or any idiot can defeat him. On one hand, we are fighting Fulani terrorists and killers, and on the other hand, we are fighting governors who are hell-bent on killing us for fighting those that have come to kill us. A man that was defending our mama, our Idemili, from the ravages and excesses of Fulani terrorists and state sponsored terrorism. Farmers cry out make it state. Guardian newspaper publication. Farmers in Ekiti state have raised concern over their inability to go to farms due to attacks and destruction of crops by headsmen. Is this being written about Imo State? Do you know the reason why you're not hearing this type of news in Imo State? It is because of the consul and his gallant men under his command in Imo State. Because of the consul Eastern Security Network, what they are doing on the ground in Biafra land, this type of news emanating from Ekiti State 
can not be written about Imo State. Ojo is in heaven. And he is going to be avenged. My God, he will. The bravery, the gallantry of these men in ESN. They are fighting three enemies at the same time. Three. And no army can even fight two enemies at the same time and survive. They are fighting three enemies and they succeeded in the objective as I gave them. Do not allow any full and terrorist activity in Nemo State. It did not happen. They are fighting full and terrorists. They are fighting Nigerian army, which is essentially full and terrorists in army uniform. That's all there. They are fighting also the police. In fact, I should say four. And they are fighting the Fulefus in our land. Opus Adema and Go. We did not go after Hope Zadema. We were only facing the enemy in front of us. Full and terrorists masquerading as headsmen. And today nobody can say, unlike before, that there are full and headsmen attack anywhere in Imo State is not possible. What Hope Zadema was seeking to achieve, Hope Zadema and all the idiots in Ohanes and their throne and Dushi, what they want to do is to fight Eastern Security Network to pave the way for foreign terrorists to come in and take over our land. The media houses in Nigeria is a very big shame, I must tell you this. They were reporting that the consul died after a firefight with the army and the police joint patrol. Nobody told them, they never investigated to ask the police or, or the army. They did not go to his house to go and kill him where he was sleeping. Where was the firefight? With who? And that is why everybody who is a frontline commander in ESN must be very, very careful. They will go to your village and they will bribe your villagers. They will give them money, as was the case with the consul. Just tell us anytime you see him. That was all they did. Because he came to his father's house into his village that he has been fighting to protect against the ravages and excesses of Fulani Janja Buddhism and terrorism. There he was betrayed in his father's compound, in his own land. These cowards came. Cowards they are. For only one man, with everything they had with them, judgment day is coming. Judgment Day is coming. They are trying to use their deceptive Yoruba media to demoralize the people, to make you turn your back towards Eastern Security Network. That have so far made it possible for you to go to farm in peace in the state. Where you can comes from. They know that ESN is invincible. They just got lucky. That's all. He comes home to his father's house, having driven away Fulani from Imo State. Went to his father's house to go and sleep, and they came there to kill him. They just got lucky. I can assure you, it won't happen again. Never. Never again. They think that by lying against this man of God, he comes home that somehow you are media, you are serving the purpose of Tinubu, Tinubu will win in 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. They use your media in Nigeria to work on your mind, to twist your mind, as CNN have succeeded in doing in America. He was killed where he was sleeping, in the middle of the night, having subdued Fulani terrorists in Imo State. He subdued them. And Mieti Allah sent their houseboy, Hope Uzadim, who hastily arranged for a few, a few uh, they call them security operatives, to come to kill a child of heaven. They did not engage him in the battlefield as they have been lying. Because in the battlefield, the console is more than a million men. 
Judgment day is coming. Judgment day is coming. Vengeance is a monster of appetite, forever bloodthirsty and never filled. I repeat, vengeance is a monster of appetite, forever bloodthirsty and never filled. And is a quote by Rachel E. Goodrich. He goes on his attack in his village. History will remember 2021. The year that the enemies of Biafra came into our land using our own people to kill a defender of his people. We are going to mourn Ikonso in a very special way. Very, very special. He was undefeatable. He drove the Fulani people away from Imo State, did gallantly well. Ikonso is more than another. And we are going to mourn him in a very special way. We are going to be Ikonso in a very, very special way that history will remember 2021. Therefore, we must fight this very fight. We lost Ikonso at the hands of cowards. Wretched, idiotic cowards who cannot fight a good fight. They did not engage him in the battlefield as they have been lying. Because in the battlefield, the consul is more than a million men. A man that is defending his land. A man that was defending our mama, our Idemili, from the ravages and excesses of Fulani terrorists and state-sponsored terrorism. On one hand, we are fighting Fulani terrorists and killers. And on the other hand, we are fighting governors who are hell-bent on killing us for fighting those that have come to kill us. Ikonso was not killed during any shootout or confrontation. Ikonso was killed in his village, in his kindred, in the middle of the night. Not on the battlefield. Because on the battlefield, there is no way any detachment of any army or any police or any idiot can defeat me. These are men that fought for their land without receiving one dime in payment. Opo Zodemma and his family masters cowardly and wretchedly killed a man who was unarmed. His fight was against Fulani terrorism in our land. And they killed him because he refused an offer made to him by the